see you, Manny. I see you, Manny, right? I see you. Travaris Robinson, T-Rob, I see you. I see you. Listen, man, if you're living under a rock, then you know by now. Travaris Robinson has been hired as the Miami Hurricanes defensive back coach. And right off the bat, let me just say, right off the bat, this is a great hire. I can't, I cannot complain about the hiring of Travaris Robinson. Before we dive into what he brings to this staff and a little bit of history about him, hey, this is NMD TV Canes. If you're rocking with the U, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Also, check out the second channel, NMD Stories. Link in the description and in the pinned comments where I do documentaries on players. The documentary on Jalen Phillips is out now. Working on the second documentary is going to be Bangers. Make sure y'all check that out and subscribe to that channel. Travaris Robinson will join Miami staff as a defensive back coach. When you look at just the, we needed a defensive backs coach, who is our top dog? And it was it was T-Rob. T-Rob was the number one on our board, and we made it happen. So anytime that you get your number one hire, then hey, you gotta be, you gotta clap. Um, a former defensive coordinator at South Carolina, former NFL player. He's put a lot of NFL players into a lot of collegiate players into the NFL. Um, coached under Tommy Tuberville, Will Muschamp. Um, you know, he's more he's a Will Muschamp disciple. And as of late, he was with he was with uh Will Muschamp at South Carolina as a defensive coordinator. You look at his local ties, him in recruiting. Uh, you know, I was looking at a couple videos of his philosophy and his philosophy doesn't mean it's going to be the philosophy with the Miami Hurricanes, but I do want to say his philosophy is a lot of bump and run aggressive type of cornerback and defensive back play, which I know a lot of us Miami Hurricanes, something that we wanted, something that we've screened for, something that we long for. Doesn't mean that's going to be his philosophy with the Miami Hurricanes. I do want to know, do want to let you know that's the type of coach that he is when he's coaching the defensive back. He wants them to be aggressive and to make plays, and that's something that, as of late, we haven't seen a lot um, out of an Al Blaze, out of a DJ Ivy, on consistent basis, especially in the big time games, not just uh, against the bottom feeder team. Now, if I was talking to Manny Diaz, right, you know, I look if he called me up, what up, what up, G? I would say Manny. I would look him in the eye. I would fix my hat. And I would say, Manny, is this a band-aid? Or are you are you making things happen? Because we know what Manny can do when he wants to make things happen. Because when Dan Enos in the offense was horrible, got shut out, he got us a new defensive coordinator. So I want to know, Manny, are you trying to pull the okie doke over our head? Are you trying to make T Rob a band aid, and you get the slate, get the slide old Coach Blake Baker through to next year? Because it's without a doubt that there's a problem with our defense, and it needs to be fixed. The defense has gotten worse throughout the years, especially in big time games this past season. No matter what stats you pull out, the bottom line is we had two um, projected top players on our D-line in Gregory Rousseau and Quincy Roche, but we still gave up a lot of yards to backup quarterbacks. We faced several backup quarterbacks, Pittsburgh, North Carolina State, and then we played the big-time games like uh, North Carolina. There was records broken on our defense, like a Clemson, like a uh, Oklahoma State who – Basically didn't have their best wide receiver in the second half. Brought in a freshman wide receiver who only had one catch. He ended up having over 100 some yards. So when you look at how this defense has gotten gotten to where it is today, the, there needs to be in a change of scheme and defensive coordinator. So I want to know, hey, Manny, are you going to let your boy slide? Or are you going to do what needs to be done? Because when you fired Enos, you was pumping out your chest. Right? You will let everybody know this is not up to Miami standard. Well, if it's going to be like that with Enos, it's got to be like that with Coach Blaker. Listen, my boy Nino Brown, he was a little bit too late. 
on finding out about G Money in his ways and what happened. The whole program went down, you know? Hey, for y'all New Jack City fans, y'all know what I'm talking about. Nino Brown was a little bit too late finding about G finding out about G Money. Manny, do what you gotta do and get us a new defensive coordinator because if not, as good as this T Rob hire is, as good as it's gonna be for recruiting. Is going to be for the maturation of our defensive backs. To me, it's going to be like a band aid, and that, and that is just going to be like a band aid. It's just going to be like look look over here at this new hire, and we're going to let Blake Baker slide through. We've got to change the defensive coordinator, or when it comes to playing talented offenses like a Sam Howell in North Carolina, like a, a Clemson, uh, even like Oklahoma State, like a Mike Gundy coach team. Our defense will 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 be outclassed because that's what has been shown the last couple years under Blake Baker. So hey, Manny, good hire, but my question is, hey, are you gonna do what needs to be done? Let me know in the comments. I'm out. Peace.